Good evening, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you may not know Rada of the Medellin Belmont. Those of you who would know, I want to let you know that we are one of the first African tribe in the back of Tobago since 1855. Great grandfather in West Africa and landed in Belmont where we are today and a piece of land that they paid $130 for. And we have not missed a beat. We continue to carry on this tradition up to this day. And we were very lucky to be able to have our, our ancestors documented by a book by Mr. Andrew Carr called A Rider Community in Trinidad. And we were blessed that we were able to go back to Africa last January and meet our real relative in West Africa. We spoke you were the greatest achievement, Mr. Avery Amon wanted us. And to meet that family, it was well, breathtaking. Before I go any further, I want to let you know, in our tradition, I know Raleigh has given a great welcome and introduction as to the way things are done in the African way. I want to let you know that everybody talk about God. Who is God? Can we see him? Anybody ever see him? Yeah? So what would you say he is? The spirit, right? Uh -huh. Have to be spirit, buddy. And we would like to let you know in our tradition, we don't do anything without spirit. But before I move on, I'd like to get all I be from, from the right of point of view. Kojo Billy. 
back to Africa came out of the Rada Yard. Think about it, study it well enough, the babies they will get. So I'm just trying to bring this thing as close to God as possible to the carnival. Heavenly Father, as we stand here this evening, I ask you to give the courage, bless the hands and the mind of our arranger, Sander. Keep him alive, keep him going. I've been arranging, even in the absence of the carnival, have him ready for next year. Keep the band ahead of the rest. We are 12 and counting. I ask you, Jesus Christ, Father, to keep this band above. Let the members of the band continue to respect and give the support to our arranger. Let the management of this group be blessed and lead and stay as leaders and let the rest of the band follow you. Heavenly Father, I ask you to look upon us as winners and continue to win, continue to stay ahead of the game and continue to represent the people without forgetting desperados. Nobody can take Lamentee out of desperados and nobody can take desperados out of Lamentee. Desperados is the people's band of Trinidad and Tobago. Father God, I ask you to elevate this band. I would like to see this band fully represented on, represented on Carnival. Monday and Tuesday, we've got to move to that level. I want to see this band as lively as they have been at Panorama. Both Monday and Tuesday, we have that wreck. We are privileged, we are privileged to do that. I ask the, uh, the administration of this group to continue to move them forward. Father God, I ask you to bless each and every one of the members in the band. I ask you to look after the tuners. Of course, my arranger. I continue to talk to my arranger because without him, I do not think we would get where we are today. We've tried many of them. And I have to give praise to him. Father God is a gentleman who listens to everybody. And that's not a common thing of our work. He has never turned away anyone. He always says, thank you. Listen to what you have to say. And I think that what has made him what he is today. Yeah. Father God, I ask you to bless this yard. I know we'll be moving soon. But we move with the blessing. I know where we are going. And I know in your name, you will take us to the house of faith. And I hope one day, when we have, like they have in America, the, where you can have the names of the different bands on the floor somewhere, I hope Despers will be the head and right on the top. He's an album this year of you, Jesus Christ, in your name. In the name of Desperado. In the name of. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much indeed, Chief Henry. Ladies and gentlemen, I must recognize and thank Baba Uka, Michael, Augustus, Orisha for being here and for foregoing his, his slot on the program. I want to add my own little observation to the proceedings. Now, I'm a member, I'm a supporter. I am, I was recently made chairman of the Elders Committee. So almost every night, I used to be in the yard. And the work ethic is what I want to recognize now because the players and the supporting staff worked real hard to achieve 
what we achieved. I want to pay recognition to the, the drill master, Mr. Curtis uh, Edwards. I want to be here. He, he did a, a yeoman's job, I would think, and most of you would agree with me, for having the band in unison. The, the, uh, the arranger mentioned several occasions before, but need to be mentioned again for his skills in euphemizing the chords, so to speak. To soothe your ears. And I want to speak of something I observed. I used to live here very late when the last straw and big, big up boots fall. And one night I left a little later than usual and I left the, the captain. I saw him, the last person I saw in the yard. So the next day I came here about half nine park my vehicle to do what to go and do what I needed to do that day. And there I saw the captain on on a stand doing something like welding. I, I looked at that and I said, well this guy is really committed to the band and the preparation of the band. So I like to single him out. I don't know if he's here. Uh, Mr. Glasgow, I don't know if he's here. So if he's not here, please convey my recognition to him. And if he's here, please accept my recognition, Mr. 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 Adrian. Adrian. Mr. Adrian here? Okay, Mr. Adrian, you're, you're far off. Oh, uh, we have uh, another representative of the frog to bring to the podium and he represents the Christian faith, like Catholic Father Raymond. One Father Raymond is here. Father Raymond, could I, could you come? Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. And I, I must apologize. There's no disrespect to the head table. Why? That's it. Uh, I knew someone else was supposed to be there, another priest. So I didn't presume I could have gone and sit. Amen? So no disrespect to your brothers and sisters. Amen? Uh, I just want to say for me, I am like a new baby with Panis concerns. Just over the last 15, 18 years, so I have started to indulge in Pan a bit. And within that time, I have been able to judge almost uh, to the point one or two minutes on Saturday night. On Saturday night, while I was there listening, um, I left just after 11. And I sent my sister, because she's in the States, she wants to know what is happening, and my nieces. I sent them a little bit here from Crazy Moore and the others who were practicing. And she said, Raymond, who do you think went to win? Say, Gil, I listened to Despots tonight, and I'm sure nothing less than Tid. Second, Tid, you know? Um, and God had it so that it would come first. So I really thank God for them. The person who introduced me to this band would have been Father Clyde Harvey some years ago. And since that, with Crazy being involved in the band, I've been following Desperados. And I want you to know I love you very much. Amen? Amen? So the prayer I chose to use tonight is taken from the Gospel of Luke. And for me, when I think about Thanksgiving, whatever well, I think about gratitude, there is one woman for me who holds that up, uh, that expresses it from her soul. That most of us will know that story when uh, the Messiah was supposed to appear the angel appeared to a young woman, insignificant young woman, Mary, and said to her, you have been chosen. God has made a choice of you and you are going to be the mother of the Messiah. 
And I thought about this because when I thought about desperados and how uh, people treat Pan and how people think about desperados and the kind of comments you have sometimes, and I think about competition, everybody else wants to bury another band, amen? Because we're gonna win. And I felt it very much that a lot of bands were vying to bury desperados. So Mary's Magnifica came to mind. And so I wanna share that because it is really a soul, a heartfelt gratitude and thanksgiving for what God did for this woman. Amen? And so it says, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, because he has looked with favor on his lowly servant, Desperados. From this day, all generations will call Desperados blessed. The Almighty has done great things for Desperados, and holy is his name. His mercy, he has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud, all the other bands. Hello? In their conceit, he has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and he has raised up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he had sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant, Desperados, as he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, all those who have gone before you, from 1943 or thereabout when you came into existence. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and his children forever. God our Father, we thank you for your love and your mercy, that you always look upon the lowly, you always look upon the marginalized, those who are counted for us nothing. You always make a choice for us, and you raise us, and you give us status in the sight of men. Today you have done just that for your sons and daughters of Desperados. Lord, it is with joy we stand in your presence tonight in thanksgiving and praise, trusting that your blessings will continue to be upon them, that you, O oh Father, shall prosper them in every way possible, that even as they look towards their new home, that you shall remove all the barriers, all the critics, all that's coming against them. We renounce them in the name of God, our Father, and we pray for a clear part. We pray for a blessing upon that place. Lord, we thank you for all the members of the band and in a special way for their families, their husbands, their wives, their children who made the sacrifices over the months. May you bless them and may you hold them close to your heart. Bless and keep through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all. As we are approaching the culmination of the ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, I want to call again to serenade you once more, Mr. Justin Joseph. You? <laughs> so to the congregation, just a question. Have you ever felt down before? Yes. Like there's no hope, nothing at all? Always remember that God is on our side, okay? Just something short and sweet, a cappella. Let's go. Why should I be discouraged? And why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is Portion a constant friend is he is I his own despair and I know he was. 
touches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. Is I Watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye, his own the space. Thank you very much, Mr. Justin. Once it's nice, do it twice. That is punto final, ladies and gentlemen. I need to call to the podium at this time to issue to you a vote of thanks. That person is Miss Payne. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am Alice Sophia, member of Desperados, this great orchestra. On behalf of Desperados, Steel Orchestra, management team, and members, I would like to thank the Steel, all invited religious leaders. Thank you very much. All invited guests and even those who showed their presence because it was put out there for the public. I would also like to thank members of Panchen Bego. Welcome, thank you very much for blessing us with your presence. At this time too, I would also like to thank Mr. Zander. Thank you very much, sir. You have done a great job for us. I would like to thank the membership of Desperados. I would also like to thank though, the parents, those youths. It was very difficult for them, you know, coming from school and to practice and everything. But at this time, we would like to say thank you very much and continue to support this steel orchestra. We know that sometimes it's a little difficult, but with your support, we are only going to get better. Thank you very much, and I pray you are safe, Jane Hope. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Pierre. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a wonderful audience. It's a pity we have to end now. But it was nice treating with you, and I hope you will appreciate what I was asked to do. Before you leave, we have slight refreshments. Somewhere on the, what, the eastern end, for you all, please stick around and party. And on your way home, please get home safely. Have a good night.